Eleven months after the bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, the purpose of Crossroads was to test the effects of atomic weapons using two devices, similar in design to Trinity and Nagasaki, codenamed Abe and Baker. Shot Abel was to be dropped from a B-29, while Shot Baker would be detonated 90 feet below the surface of the water. The target armada consisted of 185 Japanese, German, and American ships, ranging from small amphibious craft to battleships and aircraft carriers. missed its intended target by nearly 800 yards. The blast sent five ships, including two destroyers, to the bottom of Bikini Lagoon. All ships within a half a mile of the blast were heavily damaged. The damage was nowhere near that created by the falling underwater blast known as Shot Baker. Bikini Baker was an underwater burst of the same device, and it produced much more damage to the armada of 70 ships. For instance, the USS Saratoga had the bottom of it essentially knocked out of it from the underwater burst, and the Saratoga sank and sets upright in the bottom of the Bikini Lagoon at the present time. I've often flown over Bikini Lagoon, and on clear days when the water is quiet, you can still see the Saratoga setting there. The area surrounding Shot Baker had become seriously radioactive and could not be safely approached for some time. This effect was not anticipated 
and ultimately led to a decision by President Truman to call off a third deep underwater test, codenamed Charlie. 